Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Workshop Wednesday! And actually, this week it was really hard to find some new creations, some good ones, because this week it was all about mods and all creations. Is it mods or new all new posts is mods, so it was really tough <laughs> to find some, and I actually managed to find some, I'll show them in a bit, but first I just want to show you this fridge which I was showing in my previous episode which didn't work and then as you can see now it actually works and you can actually wire it up so let's make something working with this thing not really oh let's just turn on the light so let's put it, the light on the fridge and now you see you can just wire it with the switch and when you open the door the light turns on so basically it works like a switch and if you have downloaded this before and it this just disappears when you open it. Just read on it and it should work. There was some glitch with the mod tool, so now it's fixed and it works. So and I also wanted to try these letters and actually they are pretty small as you can see. There's all the alphabetic letters and some other stuff. Like German letters and some signs, euro, dollar and so on. Or paragraph. Oh here dollar sign, yeah. Anyhow, this is not the episode for mods, so let's just get get to the creation. But before we do that, let me just turn off this awning sound because I really can't stand it and they are still spinning. I wonder if I remove the controller controller. Will they stop spinning? Yeah. <laughs> Finally it's silent. I really got annoyed with the sound because it took me some while to set this whole up thing up. And was sounding all the time. So let's start with the first creation. As you can see it's already on the board and it's some kind of hot rod or something. Let's see who made it. And it's made by Optimux. I spent an entire day on this rat rod. So I hope you all enjoyed. So let's check it out. And let's hope we enjoy it. So let's close the doors. And actually from the outside it looks really cool. Really, really cool. So number one, of course, doors. Two is the light. Wait, what? What was the three? Oh, it's radio. Thank God, it's on the button, so I can turn it off. Something spinning. Not really sure what is this. Something is spinning somewhere inside. I bet something obvious, which I just can't see <laughs> what is happening. And oh, the trunk. Check out how small the trunk is, can you actually fit anything inside it? <laughs> Imagine you go to the shop, you open the boot and you can't even put down your shopping stuff. Yeah, there just looks like a 4x6, no, 2x6 or 4x6 blocks. It's big trunk which you can't actually put anything inside. Now let's get inside from the roof. And which was the trunk? Number 5 is the trunk. And yeah, there's only 5 buttons on the the hotbar. So yeah, it's pretty simple, really nice looking rat rod, which I really, really like. And the engine. Let's check the engine because I always check the engines for the creations. Yeah, it's really cool. There's this radiator somewhere and some other stuff. I really like when people make make engines really well. On there, these air intake thingies. And, and some oh and there's real engines yeah this is really cool oh and the bearings there is these intake seats on the bearing here all right let's get in and let's drive a little bit around because i actually have again many creations to show for this episode well not many but but they are pretty huge and actually there is this huge con uh, container ship i showed as last one it's really i i almost lost my my train, train uh, Wednesday's world by placing that huge, that huge ship on the ground and it just went into one FPS per minute. <laughs> so it took me like a, like ten minutes to just get it back on the lift and removed. All right, let's go to the next creation and next one for this week will be. Let's just go with this one, which is just sky high. Creator Cairo two two one six. Not really sure what what is this what is this? And is it helicopter or something? Let's just spawn it. And let's see. Yeah, I saw there is this driver seat, so I believe it's something flyable. 
Oh, there's some turrets or guns at the front, so this is the front, and how do I get in the driver's seat? Alright, so up here. What does it, what does it, what does this sensor does? I mean, has I just take off? Oh, it's, it's really cool, actually, if I know how to fly it. I believe it's more or less like hovering thingy. I'm not really sure how to call this thing, like helicopter, and I believe number one. You can turn on the flying mode. Or maybe not. <laughs> hope, I hope it doesn't fly away. Let's put it back on the... Alright, back on the ground so it's safe. Let's try to get back in. And try one more time. Will it fly now? Oh yeah, now it flies. Yeah, I believe number two is for the flying mode. I hope the sound is not... Not too loud for recording. And number three. You can move in the legs. Oh, they are. Oh, yeah, they are legs, so you can easily fly. It. So let's turn off the flying mode. Yeah, it just. It just looks so freaking cool. Not really sure from where it was made or what it is. But I really like this, this unusual shape. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the next creation, which is this huge thingy made by. LEC, LEC Zero. Not really sure in what language. Oh, here's the English. Beautiful and almost realistic Slay One. Not really sure. Oh, from Star Wars. Something from Star Wars. So let's read the instructions. Well, let's just not read the instructions. Let's just fly it. And I will use the instructions if I can't figure out how to fly this thing. And I really hope it doesn't crash my game when I put it on the ground. So let's just try it and see how it goes. Oh my god, it really likes actually. Because there are these... Oh my god, it's so freaking annoying when the game likes. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the hell is this. Let me just put it back on the lift to see what it is, maybe. Maybe I'll fly. We'll try to fly without talking and then we'll just fast forward how I fly and so on. So let's just look around for now. Oh, there's some pistons or something. These are supposed to be for the wings or... S yeah, not really sure, not really sure. What the hell is this? Oh, and there's some... Blue... Some blue pieces, I believe they are. Made with purpose. What is this cross here? <laughs> I thought something will fall on my head. Oh, and check out these window thingies. They're really, really cool and... So, what is this button? Oh yeah, it's on the lift, of course. Yeah, but... It, I wonder... Usually it says that it's on the leaves and you can press it. Yeah, this is really cool. I guess I won't be able to fly. Actually, I'll stop talking and will fast forward this video so you can see and enjoy how it looks. Alright, I'll be back. Enjoy. Alright, and I'm back as I saw. I just crashed it, but yeah, it really lags, but it looked just so freaking awesome. I really wish I had a better PC so I can enjoy this kind of creations more, because I don't really think it would lag that bad on some better PC, but yeah, it looks amazing. And whatever it is, it's just awesome. I know there's some Star Wars fans out there who will know what is the name of the thing and in which part it was, but alright now let's go to the next creation which also is pretty big, but it really didn't lag it this bad. So the next one is this, and I believe it's the last one, is this huge cargo ship by Mr. Kroka. I believe it's from Poland, because there's this Poland flag. Yeah, it's really huge and awesome ship. Let's actually not put it on the ground for now, it's supposed to be hovering, I'll figure it out where's the driver's seat and then I'll turn on the hovering mode because I believe once it starts hovering it will lag as bad as just like I'm near the creation not like a 
with one FPS because when I drop it on the ground these small thingies they are supposed to hold it above the ground but they are just too small and whole creation the bottom shot but yeah let's see where do I get actually in there should be some button or switch oh check out the spider rib oh my god this huge this ship is so freaking huge so I believe somewhere in the front there should be an entrance or maybe I can't even see the no there is no bearings at the front which means I just had to jump on it let's see from there should be some some entrance, no, something. Yeah, the only bearings up there. All right, I guess this this the only way to get in on this ship. So let's just. Oh, it can stay there. All right, so there is the helipad. There is this strange booth. Not really sure what it's supposed to be. Or maybe it's for the lights here. Oh yeah, it makes sense now. They turned on with the delay. Oh, they are flashing. This is really cool. So this is like a control tower for the helicopter landing and I really like these small pipes check out how he made the railings actually I need to check it out a little bit quicker because there's so many things to check and if I want to check it out in details it will take some while and while there is why there is these doors no but yeah see there's this seat not really sure what oh and see the legs is away yeah oh but that's because on the lift that makes sense and now I'm trapped in here in the container and I'm now I'll be shipped to some other country. Wait, wait, how did I? I got up here. Let me just delete and get out of here. <laughs> that was really tricky. I believe it was made just to get people in the containers. But yeah, I really like the containers as well. Really unique way how to make it. So they are not like a one, one painted one painted block so there's more containers oh there's even the screen this is really cool I really like this level of detail and looks like there's another crane here and there's even these bolts at the ground this is really cool yeah I guess I I'm checking it in too many details again so let's just go and quickly explore it there's some more pipe rooms or you can walk around here, let's just go from this side, so there's more pipes. Can we go through here? Yeah, oh my god, this ship is really cool. So there's some, oh, it's a showers. Wait, there's showers. On the, <laughs> without the doors. So there's medby maybe? Oh yeah, it looks like there's the medby, which is really cool. I thought it will be just like a containers and there's the toilets, can I? Open the doors, looks like they they are just stuck there. So what else is here? It's really narrow, but just like on ships. So there is the kitchen. Or oh, there is the grill or something. Not connected to anything. And this one. No, are also not connected. There's some fridge with the frozen with the frozen ducks inside. There's the table. This is really cool. This is really cool. So should we Let's just go this way and then I'll go up if I can squeeze through here. So, oh, there's the... Up there, there should be the captain's... Captain's room. So there's more containers. And this is the front. I feel like flying, Jack. <laughs> really cool ship, really cool ship. I really love it. So let's go up there to this captain. Captain's room and see how, how it looks. Now let's explore this floor. Looks like there's some room. Oh, there's beds. Can I turn on the lights? Of course I can. This is really cool ship. This is amazing ship. I believe it's the best ship on the scrap mechanics so far. Oh, there's like a storage or electricity or service room. Not really sure what how to call it on the ships. I bet there's some special term for it. Oh, you can even walk around here. This is so freaking cool. There's more pipes and I believe he made from some real ship reference because this is really really detailed and like made it really correct can I jump on here? no you can't he yeah, actually scrap mechanic does should add, add some stairs so you can just climb up so we were down here let's just go up here and it looks like this is the captain's room oh you can see to both sides from this deck does this control anything? no it doesn't then there is this radio 
Thingy, can I turn? Oh, it's alarm, I believe. Oh, check out the thrusters at the bottom. What well, this path has the at the ceiling? Check out how many thrusters you need to lift this thing up. Oh my god, ever just turn off the alarm? What does this do? Let's get out of the seat and let's check it out. So, please, these are two buttons with, which is not attached to anything. Then there is this cutting helper seat or <laughs> not really how to cut. And this one, I believe, is the captain's seat, so let's somehow try to put down the lift. Alright, looks like this time it went a little better and did the crash it in the ground, so I still haven't figured out how to get on it the right way, so I'll just use the lift. And I guess that's the right way to get on it anyways, <laughs> and I, I failed to get on it. And actually I don't have where to jump on it from there, so let's just put somewhere where I can where I have some place to land it. How this hole is big enough. Actually let's just take the seat. So I'm really sure. And I'm right in the right in the seat. Oh my god, this is really awesome. So let's zoom out. Have I zoomed out max? Oh yeah I did. So number one is to Made the silence. Alright, yeah, number one is hovering. And with W you drive and stare. Oh my god, check out how it leans. And I just crush it. In there. Let's try to lean the other way. Maybe number two is some extra thrusters to see. No, number four. Oh, it's a horn. This is really cool ship if I could just fly it or, or, or sail it. How to get out the... How to get away from this freaking lift? Alright, come on. Ship, you can do it. Why does it start to... Oh my god, ship is sinking. Oh my god, did I just... Did I really just flip it? Flip it upside down and... Check out how stable it is being upside down. Maybe this is the right way to right way to fight. <laughs> and what to do now? What the hell? How did I manage to even do this? All right, let's try one more time. This time I remove the lift. So number one is for for hovering, and then with W, I believe you just start to move forward, just really, really slow. And I wonder, maybe number two, you. And it looks like number. Do you stop instantly? And number three, yeah, was the horn. Not really sure. Why on two buttons there is this horn? But yeah, the ship is itself is really cool. And looks like we are slowly, slowly moving. Yeah, this is um, really amazing. But all right, I guess that's that's enough for this episode of Workshop on Wednesday. Leave a like if you like it. Subscribe to see another episode next week. And I'll see you in some other videos. Bye!